welcome if you're new. My name's Jem and I make videos all about hair. I upload twice a week so be sure to subscribe so you can come back for your hair inspiration. I get so many questions from you lovely lot over on Instagram about how can I make my hair thicker. So today I thought that I would film a video all about how I make my hair look thicker. These are tips and tricks that I genuinely use and I feel that they will really, really help you. I'm not going to say spread anchovy oil or do weird things to your hair that I haven't done myself so please rest assured all these tips and tricks are ones that I use. So the first thing that I feel that you could do to make your hair thicker is to shampoo your hair with a deep clarifying, deep cleansing shampoo. My favourite ones are the Aussie Mega and the Tresemme Deep Cleansing Shampoo. And what these do is they really deep clean your hair, they make it thicker and fuller looking, they get rid of any build up, any grease. So make sure you really, really wash your roots with these shampoos because they really will bump up your hair because if you've got a greasy head it is going to make your hair appear flatter, it's going to make it look lank, it's going to look really lifeless and really grim. So by using a clarifying shampoo your hair will be thicker and fuller and bouncier looking. I would only recommend using those shampoos once a week or so because they can be quite strong and they can strip the hair so just go easy on those. Talking about greasy roots, you don't want greasy roots because it's not a good look. So what I would suggest is you use a dry shampoo. The dry shampoos they're going to get into the hair, they're going to soak up all the grease and they're going to give your roots a lift and a bounce as well so they are really really great. My favourite one that I like to use is Batiste. They do do a volumizing Batiste dry shampoo. I have played around with some of the others in the range but you really can't go wrong with the original. Talking about roots, why not hairspray your roots with Elnet is one of my favourites from the drugstore or the big sexy stay and play. Just spray them into the roots Give it a good old zhuzh and your roots are going to be big, sexy and voluminous. Another thing that I really like to do is to do heatless curls. I either like to braid them, as you can see in this video here, braid my hair in Dutch braids overnight, leave them, take them out and you have got lovely voluminous waves. This will make your hair appear thicker. Or I love to use my curl formers as well and that can I say more? I mean, look at how much volume and bounce and shine I've got in these curls. They are great. I've also got a video on the curl formers as well, so go and check that out because I highly, highly recommend them for heatless waves. Another great tip is to make sure you grow out all of your layers. Over 2016, I had my hair trimmed about every eight weeks. I've been working really, really hard on getting a really nice blunt straight line. If your hair is all one level, then it, you're guaranteed to make your hair look thicker. Make sure you get rid of all those horrible dead ends as well because they're just dead hair. They don't make your hair look longer. They make your hair look thinner and lankier. So make sure you get your hair trimmed. It's one of my biggest tips that I can give you. Another great little tip for your ponytails to look thicker is slicing the top half of the ponytail so you've got one ponytail that will be a quarter and then three quarters of the ponytail underneath and then sticking a little claw clip in there bringing the other part of the ponytail over and your ponytail will appear thicker or by doing the same method cutting your ponytail into three quarters and a quarter you can make a little bobble by taking a little section of hair tying a little clear elastic around it and pulling on the strands to form a bobble shape and then pulling the hair back over and boom you've got a lot lot thicker looking ponytail okay so there is all my little tips and tricks which one did you like which one are you going to try or do you have any tips that you can give me and for all of my other viewers comment down below because i'd really like to hear your thoughts as well thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video